All right, welcome to Richard James Productivity Tips, where we are guaranteed a useful tip in two minutes or less that will save you time and effort every day. Today's tip is how to view multiple time zone references in your Outlook calendar. If you're like most people, you're working with teams in different time zones, not only across the country, but across the globe. And while time zone math is not difficult, it sure is convenient to have those multiple time zone references built right into the Outlook calendar. So what I'm referring to in this calendar is this column right here, 8 a.m., 9 a.m., 10 a.m. This is my Eastern time zone reference, but I often have to schedule a lot of meetings meetings with people across the globe. How can I add those? I'm going to go up here to File, and I'm going to go down to Options. And over here in my Outlook Options, I'm going to select Calendar. And then if I scroll down to Time Zones, you can see that I've got one default time zone. That's the one we're using here. I can give this any label I want. I'll call it NYC. And if I want to show a second time zone, simply just put it here. I'm working with a lot of teams in India, which I know are UTC uh, plus five and a half hours. So I'm going to go down here. I see Chennai, Mumbai, New Delhi. Uh, our team's actually in Bangalore, but it's the same time zone. I'm going to select that. I'm just going to call this the BLR for Bangalore time zone and then hit OK. And then what do I have here? Two time zones, BLR and NYC. So now when I'm working with our teams in India, I can easily say, hey, are you able to do a 6 p.m. IST call? And I know right away that that's 8.30 a.m. my time. Certainly makes for a very uh, frictionless types of communication when you're working with, with teams. Hope you found this useful. Just hit subscribe if you'd like to hear more of these tips. Take care. Thank you.